Praise the Lord, my soul, all my inmost being. Praise his holy name. Praise the Lord, my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Who forgives all your sins and heals all your diseases? Who redeems your life from the pit and the crown you love and compassion? Who satisfies your desires with good things so that your youth is renewed like the eagles. The Lord works in righteous injustice for all the oppressed. He made his way to Moses, his deed to the people of Israel. The Lord is compassionate and gracious, slow to anger, um, abounding in love he will always he will not always accuse nor will he harbor his anger forever he does not treat us as our sins deserve or repay us according to our inequities for as high as the heavens are above the earth, so great is his love for those who fear him. As far east is from the west, so far as removed the transgressions from us. As Father as has compassion for his children, so the Lord has compassion for those who fear him. And that's Psalm 103, verses 1 through 13. And this is the first Sunday after Christmas. And all along we've been talking about through the Advent Sundays um, about love and sharing that love and that's what this season is supposed to be about and here in this psalm we talk about Lord's unbounding love we don't talk about his righteousness his anger his need for vengeance. We talk about his unabounding love. How he is slow to anger. And he won't always just accuse. We all share this love. And this is the season and the time to share that unabounding love it is this is the season that we should be celebrating that out of that love God sent us his son to show his forgiveness for our sins to show that he wants to redeem all of our souls and bring us to eternal life. And we should celebrate that love. This isn't a season just for us to go out and buy the gifts and when Christmas comes showing off taking pictures with our cell phones look at all the bounty of gifts I've gotten this particular 
Christmas because of a pandemic. Maybe the trees weren't so full of gifts, but they were full of love. That we, this particular Christmas, found new ways to join us to our family members that we love and cherish. That we used the technology in our minds to find our way into multiple homes at the same time. I know um, for me and my wife, Mary, we um, FaceTimed with different people when Zoom we sent Zoom links out, but when the Zooms failed, we used the FaceTime. So, we got to see the faces of, of all those um, that we love and that we cherish our friendship and the family members. We use the mail system to send out presents because we couldn't hand deliver them. We use the magic of Amazon to send presents also. But the big thing was on that very day that we sat with those who we really truly love and we shared the day. We share that day filled with love. And that's what the true meaning of Christmas is. All of us coming together in love. It is one of our traditions that we sit and we watch Christmas movies. <laughs> And two of the of the movies that we watch, uh, it's a Wonderful Life and Miracle on Thirty Fourth Street. Um, those two particular movies, if you look really deep inside of them, and you get down to the boil everything down to the core of what their those filmmakers were trying to say to us. Be grateful. It's a wonderful life. The main character, George, he wanted to give up his life. He wanted to toss it all away because he thought he was nothing. That he had achieved nothing. And that with the world would be better off because he was nothing. And the angel Clarence walked him through his life. What the world would be without him. And he found a world filled with greed. Because he hadn't saved his brother's life when he was younger, that a whole naval ship of men passed away because they were killed because his brother wasn't there. He found out how things piled up because he had done one thing, because he managed to do what was right within his small little community that affected the rest of the world. Through that, he learned to be grateful for his life and everything that it meant for him to be alive and to help his community. It 
in Miracle of 34th Street again, we're leading back to the message of gratitude because the main characters had to learn to be grateful for who they were. And for the friendship that was around them. Of course, we always watch the um, three installments of Santa Claus with Tim Allen. And that, again, the core message was about spreading joy and spreading love around the world. Whenever Santa Claus, played by Tim Allen, was hit with adversity, he was reminded by the elves and his helpers that he was doing this for the love that was going to be spread around the world that one particular day. Christmas is meant to symbolize love. And the real trick to all this is while Christmas symbolizes that love is for us to keep the love growing And spreading, continuing to spread around the world. To be the light around the world through the whole year. And year after year. That's the real trick. The real secret to Christmas. Is how do we keep the love going? How do we keep spreading the love to all of our brothers and sisters in humanity. How do we keep everyone who is alive right now knowing that they're, they are loved? How do we make that happen? We need to find those answers in order to push forward. Now, uh, of course, uh, year 2020 was a year of eye-opening challenges. Some of those challenges are because maybe as a species we lost some of our way. Maybe we got too involved in the commercialism, in the search for riches and dollars and whatever you want to call money, wherever it is that you live. We got caught up in that. Maybe it's time we stop being caught up in the commercialisms the monetarisms and get caught up in spreading the love the love and joy that comes with this particular season so all right let us pray lord help us not only find your love and hold that love dear within ourselves Help us to feed that love so that it grows and becomes a light. And we all come together in that light. In your name. Help us to be that instrument of love that you need. To share around our world and our universe. Amen.